Okay, here is my bit video, my favorite bits, and most of them I use every day, several times a day. These first two are very special to me. Uh, this is a Lund Shandell snaffle that was made for me while I was still in high school. As you can see, that mouthpiece is about worn through. This is its third mouthpiece and it's due for another one. I use it so much that that it, we wear out mouthpieces in it. Um, still in great shape, even though it's an antique. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know me, I got it in high school and I'm almost 60 years old. Same way with this bit. This is just a really good, good twist wire snaffle that my dad made for me while I was in high school. Really nice bit. Uh, it's got a little bit more bite to it now. Again, this mouthpiece has been worn out and replaced and we put a little bit smaller wire in it last time so I don't use it quite as much, but still an awesome bit. Both are very, very special bits to me and they've been a lot of miles. Flay Hardy with a little port, a three-piece O-ring with a port. I use it on a a uh, horse that's a little bit more busy in the mouth, great bit, really handy to have. Play Hardy Slow Twist, again, really handy to have. Just got a, a little bit different feel to it. Uh, horse that's a little bit dull in the mouth, works really nicely on without scaring him. Uh, horses off the track, I'll put this Paul Humphrey draw on to get them softened up the draw action gives them a little bit different feel that they're they're so used to bracing on just a regular snaffle this up and down draw action kind of i can kind of re reschool them on on uh, softening and carrying their head right so it comes in handy uh, this is a dte large ring large o-ring uh it's got place for the the rein and the bit or the bridle uh, but this is a three piece with the dog bone in the middle. It's just a real handy bit to have. It's maybe like a four inch ring on it. Uh, just gives a, a little bit more leverage or a little bit different feel for your average snaffle. Uh, here's one of Danielle and Carrie Kelly's bits. Just got a real nice little three piece smooth mouthpiece. Uh, it's a smaller diameter than a lot Then it's got a a regular holder for it uh, for the mouthpiece so it's not not a full o-ring technically but just a, a really handy little nice little mouthpiece uh, Chris Cox fixed ring uh, the only part in it that moves is this middle broken part the the sides the, they don't move they're frozen so you've got a lot of indication to the horse directionally so if you're you've got a horse that's new um unstarted just getting started with a, a snaffle this is a good good piece to use it kind of teaches him directionally uh, lets him clue in a little bit easier don hansen double twist or twisted wire uh, just a nice little bit, small, uh, short shank, got a little bit of slide in the mouth, but again, just, just a really handy, real comfortable little bit. Probably my favorite of all time, the Ed Wright three-piece smooth, or three-piece twist with the smooth dog bone. Uh, this is a medium shank, and I've got these bits in every length. I use usually this medium shank the most, uh, but I've got the every mouthpiece they make and usually I could probably live on on this bit and snaffles alone I could I could I could make things work they're just horses like them they're easy they're not expensive they're just a good bit Flay Hardy square mouthpiece with the Betty shank just a nice little bit, got a, got a little bit of give in the mouthpiece, but not a lot. Uh, it's been a really handy bit. Horses like it, they're comfortable in it. Same, the Betty Shank with a chain mouthpiece. Super good, nice for softening a horse up. 
it's it's really handy just a nice nice little bit the duke by troy flayhardy uh, for my stronger running horses this this is a real handy bit got some leverage uh, no real pre-signal to it but certainly a nice bit just just got a little bit more power uh, cheapy professional's choice with the port hang on a port in the middle uh, smooth but got a little port in it. Uh, horses seem to like it. It's got good balance. I, I really like it. It comes in handy for a lot of horses that have been just in a two piece twist or something. Just a little bit different feel. Nice bit. Uh, Paul Humphrey hinge port. Super nice bit. Really good feel. Uh, it's got a lot of leverage. I, haven't ever made a run in it, but I will tune one up and I will soften one up. I use it on a lot of bro courses that come in for tune-ups. Uh, just a really nice bit, just good feel, got plenty of leverage and uh, got a little bit different action to it. A lot of horses like it, get along well in it, but they really pay attention to it.